For many Northwest students, finding parking in a desired lot on campus is not exactly the easiest. To park on campus, you must first purchase a permit. The price of these permits varies with students, staff and faculty, whether the individual wants a sticker or a hang tag, and if they drive a motorcycle or scooter. The only two buildings I ever go to on campus is Wells and the library. Wells, unfortunately, doesn't have open parking to students, so even if I was to get a parking pass, I wouldn't be able to park there. Junior Alex Kelly would be a commuter to campus, meaning a parking permit for his car could cost anywhere between $90 to $115. In my eyes, it's not worth buying it, but to some people who live very far away, it is definitely worth the purchase. But purchasing a permit doesn't mean that someone can park just anywhere they would like. There are approximately 47 lots available to park in on campus. Lots are designated to who can park there. Some are designated just for residents, some just for faculty and staff, some just for commuters, and also there are several shared lots. Anyone parked in an incorrect lot could be ticketed and receive a fine from the university police. We write tickets from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Lieutenant Amanda Collins is in charge of overseeing the parking enforcers who hand out these tickets. Parking is never popular. It's never popular to talk about, but ideally what we're trying to do is designate the spots for people who really need them. And so that's why we have the permit system. That's why we have the ticket system to allow the students that have paid or have designated time in that area to have access to the area. In the year of 2018, the university sold 2,375 commuter permits with around 2,019 spaces for commuters. For residents, the university sold 1,850 permits with 2,069 spaces. When you purchase those permits, we're telling you that there is a spot for you to park in. It may not be the best spot closest to the door, um, and closest to the building you want to be in, but there's a spot for you to park in. The lieutenant says that Northwest typically only adds new parking lots when new buildings are added to campus. There might be a 10 minute walk to get to your class, but um, we, we think that's, that's something that we can work with. So, and we hope that if anybody has any questions or complaints, they definitely come to us and we'll see what we can do to help out. Reporting for Northwest Student Media, I'm Haley Mack.